Hi there, today I'm going to talk to you about calf rearing. Here are our calves, Yazoo and Yakult. Calf rearing is a process where you rear a calf that is no longer with its mother and you do and you purchase the calf from a reputable farmer and onwards from the day of seven days old. This is because this ensures they have the colostrum from their mother which boosts their immune system and gives the nutrients they need. Okay. Up to the age of six weeks, a calf has not yet developed their rumen. This is a part of their stomach. Therefore, they have to stay on a diet of just milk. In order to prepare the milk, you have to make sure the buckets are clean, follow the manufacturer's guidelines and measure the milk properly, and mix the water hot and cold to uh, replicate the mother's temperature. These cows are currently having four litres of milk, AM and PM, and this is how we do it. Three key things to remember are measure your milk properly, measure the water properly, and stir as you go to make sure there are no lumps. Uh, we bucket feed our calves. Um, sometimes the calves find it difficult to use, uh, just drink out of buckets. So Yazoo here is using a, uh, an artificial tea to drink out of the, of the uh, buckets. Uh, okay, so these cows are eight weeks old now, which means that their rumen is fully developed. This means that we are able to feed them solid foods and hay alongside their milk. When rearing a calf, it's important that their accommodation is ventilated and it's important that they have soft bedding as well as lots of space to move around. This allows them to play and interact with other calves. These are our cows, Wallace and Gromit. They are beef cross dairy and they are just over a year and a half old, which means they will be shown with us at Kent County Show this year. However, once they reach over the age of 17 months old, this means they can no longer be shown. And this means we will start uh, the process of preparing them to, to go to the abattoir for beef. Hello, she is beginning the process of artificial insemination. To, a week ago she was seeded, this releases progesterone. Today we are pulling that and injecting her with estromate which causes her to ovulate. In two days time she will be artificially inseminated. Hopefully Florence will take to the AI and have her calf, however she, her calf will stay with her as she is what we call a suckler cow. At Rock Hill we study the difference between calves we bring in and bucket rear compared to calves that stay with their mother.